Now assuming that you know how to enter in data into a cell like numbers here or text, if not you want to watch a training video on data entry. In this training video I want to show you how to copy and paste and move text or numbers around within the worksheet. Take for example I have in the H column, well if I click in there H4 is totals. I can move that by simply hovering over the border. Let me show you. I have a white cross. When I move my pointer over the border, it turns into a four-way black arrow, any border here if I just hover over it. That means that I can now move the cell, the contents of the cell, into another cell by clicking down the left mouse button. Now when I click it, the four-way arrows disappear. But have faith, go ahead and move that either over to the left or down or wherever, and then just let go. I'm going to hit undo, and then just click and drag that over to G4. Now that's one way of moving your data around. Another way is to simply cut and paste it. So for example, you can see here, for my cells of the book Dream Notes in the U.S., for the date that we analyzed the data here, it was April 15th, and you can see down in the U.K., April 15th, but it's in the first column A. So to match these up, I want to be able to click in B2 and cut that and paste it into A2. And I can do that either one of three ways. I can either right-click and go to Cut, click off in a blank area, come up here on the Home tab in the Clipboard group and click on the pair of scissors Cut, or I can, on the keyboard, hold down the control key and hit the letter X. The moment I do that, you see those, well, it looks like marching ants, little black ants marching around that cell. That tells me that that cell is active or it's ready to be able to shift the contents from that cell to another cell of my choosing. If I hit escape, now remember, if you hit escape, anytime you get in trouble, it pulls you back out, it stops, reverts back. In this case, it's original solid black border around the cell. So once I have it selected, again, I can go ahead and right click, left click on cut, come over here in cell A2 and then just right click and select paste. Or I can come up here in the clipboard group. Now in the clipboard group, if I click off in a blank area, you can still see that A2 is still selected. I can either click on the paste button or click on the paste arrow and get more options. For me, I'm just going to click on the paste button. Automatically it takes it from B2 and paste it in A2 and the marching ants disappear. Okay, how about instead of cutting something out of a cell, we copy it. For example, I've got March up here in uh, E4, and that's for Dream Note cells in the U.S., but what about in the U.K.? I mean, we want the March down there as well. I mean, I could type it down there, but instead I'll copy and paste it. Same thing, you can right-click to go to Copy. You can either, well, click in the cell and come up to the clipboard and click on the Copy button, or you can do Control-C, you can see the shortcut there, and that will also copy that cell. So select the cell, go ahead and click on the Copy button. There's my marching ants, it's ready to be moved, or in this case, because we're copying, it's ready to create a copy of that to the cell of my choice. Come down here in E14, you can see I'm in column E, row 14, and then just go ahead and paste, and I can do that a number of ways. I can click on the Paste button, I can right-click and left-click on Paste, or I can go ahead and click in another cell and do Control V as in Victor, that shortcut will paste as well. And you notice how many times I can keep pasting? I mean, that's an active cell. When you cut, like we did from B2 to A2, it was a one-time thing. But when you copy, the marching ants will continue around this until you're done pasting. Well, how do I tell it that I'm done pasting? Do I just keep clicking? Do the marching ants stop? No. But remember, when you're in trouble, hit Escape on the keyboard and you're done. So I'll go ahead, using my white cross, I'll click in this cell up here and drag to select a range here that includes the text and just hit delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. And then click off in a blank area. Alright, another way of copying and pasting that you didn't know about is that you can also click on, like for example I've got totals up here for the US Dream Notes, what about the UK? I would also like a totals column header for this group of data down here. So to do that, sure, I could copy and paste it down here, but another way of copying and pasting is actually clicking and dragging. Now I know if I click and drag by hovering over the border, it moves the contents of that cell completely, so I'd have nothing left here. But if I hover over the border and hold down my control key, watch what happens to that four-way black arrow. You see what it did? It changed into a little tiny black plus sign. Probably can't see it, but go ahead and click and drag with your left mouse button all the way down to G14 here. Then let go of the mouse and let go of the control key, and you'll see that it actually moved a copy of it down here to the cell of my choice. So again, clicking and dragging moves it completely. Control, clicking and dragging on the border creates a copy. And I can hit Control Z, Control Z to undo those last two steps there, which is a shortcut for hitting the undo button. Finally, we're just not talking about cutting and pasting or copying and pasting cells here. You can actually do a whole column. So if I go ahead and I not only have Dream Notes in the U.S. and the U.K., but I also have cells in like uh, Europe or South America, I can create additional 
by selecting the whole column and then I can right click and say copy and I can cut it as well and then coming over here and making room for more data here by scrolling over just a bit into column P and I can right click on column P and paste it like I said I can right click and also cut it and actually paste it in column J in any case I'm gonna hit delete why it's still selected to get rid of the totals of the content within that column again if you ever get too far in a spreadsheet and you want to get back instead of clicking and dragging how about if you just do control home it takes you right back to the first column in the first row which is cell A1